All about testing engine cooling today. I've been getting a few requests about this and uh, when I usually change my or check my engine cooling. I usually wait until after deer season. There's a reason for it. Okay, so the remnants of Hurricane Sandy is finally gone. So what uh, I have here is both an engine coolant tester and a battery tester. I don't really normally use this uh, and I don't really see anybody using these anymore. Um, I still have a few of them and I still use them. Now, I check my engine coolant usually in the fall for freeze temperatures and I check it in the springtime for my boil over temperature. So, we'll go ahead and pop the hood here. Alright, so first things first, before I touch the rad cap, I just feel it to make sure that it is cool enough for me to open it. Another thing I usually do is pinch the rad hose. If, it, if the rad hose um, is soft and you can easily squeeze the rad hose, well then you know there's no pressure. If the rad hose feels firm, well then you know you have pressure still built up in the system and you shouldn't open it just yet. We're good. Okay, with the rad cap removed, I'm going to go ahead and take my antifreeze tester, engine coolant tester, and you can tell it's uh, not used very often. It's only used twice a year, so dust on it from sitting in the toolbox. Now what I'm going to do here is there's a gauge here in the center. you got to make sure this gauge is in, is in the center and not to the left or to the right. It's got to be perfectly vertical. And then you got your gauge down here which tells you your freeze point and your boil over point. So what I'm going to do here now is squeeze the ball so I can and go ahead and insert it into the rad and let go of the ball, suck up some engine coolant. There is a line on here too, you got to make sure that it is in perfect line. Not engine coolant in here yet, I'm not getting a, an accurate reading, so I'm going to push the ball in to let all the engine coolant back into the rad. Try this again. Alrighty. Now, record the reading. Remember the pointer's got to be up at the uh, perfect alignment. So my freeze point is hovering between minus 35 and minus 45, so roughly give or take. This is Celsius. Oh, it's also in Fahrenheit too, which is good because I understand that better. So we're looking about minus 37 Fahrenheit. So we're definitely, we're definitely good for a freeze point. Now if we turn this guy over, we got a whole bunch of others, and our boil over protection is roughly 125 degrees, 130 degrees. So we know that that's good. I'm going to let it back into the rod. And now we're all good to go. So we know that's good. And um, it's a good habit to check it in the fall. Then you know if you need to add your engine coolant. If your rod is low, well then you know you can add some and then check it. Um, but we know that our engine coolant is proper for the winter months. We're going to restore our cap, just like that. So we know that's good. Another thing, before, while you're under the hood of your vehicle, you want to check out your fan belts and whatever else. Check your fan belts for wear. We got some uh, wear here on this belt. It, uh, it's actually not too bad. I'm going to let it go for the winter. The car doesn't really gather that much mileage, so we're all good. Fluids as well. You know, you want to check out your power steering and whatever else you got. Should be at the full cold level. You know, we're good. So when it comes to uh, checking engine coolant, I usually check it in the fall after deer season. There's a reason for it. Hunters are chasing the deer out of the bush. Yeah. A deer can really make mincemeat out of your radiator. This I know firsthand. So I usually check it around mid-November, and then in the springtime, usually April, I check my uh, engine coolant again for my boil-over protection. I want to make sure that the engine coolant isn't too lean, where to the point where the engine coolant will actually boil over at normal operating temperatures. So just a few things to check out for.
usually uh, twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. Check it, fill the top up your rod if necessary and you're good to go.